This is an investigation about the enzyme catalase. Catalase is an enzyme found in many tissues and its job is to break down hydrogen peroxide into water. Hydrogen peroxide is toxic to cells. So catalase removes the hydrogen peroxide by breaking it down to harmless water. The type of catalase we're going to use in this experiment is, is in potato, in potato cells. So I've just minced some potato in the blender. I've got 10 grams of that. So in our beaker, uh, our conical flask here, I've got uh, 50 mils of uh, buffer solution. It's got a pH of seven. Certainly some of the ways that we can do this experiment is to modify the pH of the buffer. This time we're just gonna focus on seven. So I'm gonna put the potato, the minced potato in to the flask. I push the potato into the flask using um, using the stirrer. So I'm going to get all 10 grams in. 10 grams of potato in. Now our hydrogen peroxide is 10% hydrogen peroxide. I'm going to draw that up in the syringe. Okay, and we need 10 mils of our hydrogen peroxide solution. So that's 10 mils. As I said, it's 10% solution. And that goes in there. So the hydrogen peroxide is going to be catalyzed by our enzyme catalase into water and oxygen. And the oxygen is going to be produced as an oxygen gas. And so the oxygen gas is going to be produced in this conical flask and we're going to capture the gas, put it through this tube and we're going to bubble the tube up, uh, oh, sorry, bubble the gas up into a measuring cylinder and that's what we're actually going to measure. So we're measuring the amount of oxygen that gets produced, the amount of oxygen bubbles that get produced in our measuring cylinder. And I have filled up my measuring cylinder now I'm going to just take my thumb off underwater and as you can see there's no air in that measuring cylinder. Now I'm going to secure that to a retort stand. So this tube is going to go into the neck of our uh, measuring cylinder but I'm actually going to wait until I push the hydrogen peroxide in because of course when you think about it if I'm pushing 10 mils of hydrogen peroxide in then it's actually going to push out 10 mils of air, which are going to go up into here. Okay, I think I'm ready to go. So we will start our stopwatch as soon as I push this in, and then I'm gonna position the tube inside the neck of our measuring cylinder like that. Okay, so I'll get my helper to start the stopwatch you probably see a bubble of air. Can you see the bubble of air go out? Okay, so now I'm going to put it in here. And what we're going to expect to see now is actually the oxygen being produced by catalase breaking down the hydrogen peroxide. And as you can see where the meniscus there is on the measuring cylinder, we can take a reading of how much oxygen is being produced 